The sweet strings of gyrating vibes and pulsating sounds of the musical bands that dotted expansive field of Olof Anglican Grammar School or Dodeidori on Friday, May 13, 2016, swung groom gas in a smooth swoop, shaking the hilly town of Edori Ondo State to its very roots. It was all for the funeral of a mother like no other, late Chief Mrs. Deborah Bolandi Akibu Sote, who died at 94. Indeed, the Amy's party with its elite rebellious enlivened the rusty town of Idori as the swaggering bubbles came in quivering ripples and shivering tickles, heightening the delight for the better part of the day. The journey that culminated in this joyous moment began a day earlier with the wake of seven at Mama's residence at 35 Brett Street, Old Dodi Dunn. Under a long stretch of tents, the service took place. In Porsche cars with lovely strides, Gregorio's gas streamed into East Donnery Land, where they savoured the naturalness of the environment. Guests were welcomed into Edonia by these rolling and imposing igneous rocks, gigantic in size and torching the skies, an uncommon sight to behold. <laughs> Mama's children who sat in front glinted in white lace. Solemn hymns were joyfully cursed along by everyone. The were exhilarating testimonies about the exemplary life of Mama lead. In his torch and sermon, Venerable Joseph Adifila preached the message of salvation. <laughs> Thanksgiving followed as Mama's children, joined by well wishes, danced till the dark hours of the day. The next day, guests who were looking even more resplendent cruised into the arena of the St. Paul's Anglican Church, or Dodeidori, in exotic cars, for the order of the funeral service for Mama. Soon, Mama's casket arrived at the church after an exhausting dance procession by the poor bearers and family members through the hilly violent streets of E. Dory. Mama's remains were received at the entrance of the church by a team of priests. Soon, soulful hymns filled the entire arena of the holy sanctuary. Mama's children looked very good in expensive brown lace and purple as showfee fabrics. Taking a lead from Mama's biography, the Venerable Okwe Kujen wrote in his message and joined everyone to live holy lives. The high point of the author of service was a Thanksgiving session as everyone danced forth to rejoice with the children of Mama. The children were prayed for and would draw him brought the service to a close. Her remains were then taken by poor bearers out of the church, dancing once again through the streets of Edom to the graveside, which was at her residence for the interment. After some hymns and prayers, Mama's cup was lowered onto Mother Earth. That is the end of a virtuous woman, a woman who made a mark in the enterprise of trading and farming. She loved everybody and was always frank, firm, fearless, courageous and upright. Her generosity was second to none.
This contributed greatly to our been given an award of excellence by the Idala community in Idori land. Mama was an epitome of virtuous womanhood and an amiable mother. She stood firmly by her husband even in the face of difficulties. A love of education she went the extra mile to ensure all her children went to school. Her slogan, I will never allow my children to lag behind. No wonder she was able to train all her four children through university after the demise of her husband. Today, all her children are doing great in their respective fields. This therefore explains the presence of top-notch individuals at every stage of the funeral. Guests later converged at the expansive field of Olof Yamlikin Grammar School, Old Bodeidon, where the children of Mama 3 were lavish party to entertain guests. <laughs> On the various tents we dotted the field, guests settled down to savour enjoyments which came in quick succession. For the large Marquis was the most prominent of Mama's sons, Mr. Aki Aki Bitsote. Where Benga followed by band thrilled the VIP guests who were happy to be part of the felicities. For the older tents, we have Demola Suzy Band, the Celestial Band, and Gourmet Arkin's Band that entertain guests at all the tents and field. <laughs> Inside the very giant marquee of Aki Aki Bisote, everything looked immaculate, from the sprawling roof of the interiors to the tables and chairs which were in unique colors of cream and lemon. The setting surely dazzled the merrymakers. <laughs> Benga Falope and his band made sure there was no dull moment throughout. In response to these, guests danced and danced excitedly, merely around Mr. Aki Aki Bisote on the dance floor. Simple, humble, friendly and sociable, Aki Aki Bisote, also known as Eskin, is a man of many parts. He was a former commissioner for commerce and industry in Indo State, a very successful businessman with thriving investments which include a and International Hotel and Conference Center at Kure. He's also the chairman and chief executive of First Prime Agents in Idra Limited, a leading firm of freight forwarders and a member of the All Progressives Congress, APC. This therefore explains the presence of eminent personalities, especially chieftains of the All Progressives Congress. <laughs> Apart from political associates, Aki also enjoys the solidarity of his club members, the Chops Club of E. Dorit, who rallied around him with their presence. These esteemed guests of Aki and his darling wife, Taiwo, indeed had the best of times as various assorted meals were available for all to savor. Red Carpet TV spoke with some of Mama's children and some guests. She was a woman when she was alive. She saw she would have been one of the best lawyers had it been. She was sent, she was sent to school by her daughters because she's very brilliant. Uh, my mother was a, very, was a great woman. Very calm, seated, sentenced, and composed at any time. She's always herself. She will have been a professor. I will so much love her. A kind mother indeed. A mother of mother. A mother I will be praying to have. I've come to this world ten times you always my mother. From the Red Cup of TV crew, we celebrate with the Arcade Resorted family on the success of the burial of their matron. 
Chief Mrs. Bolanle Deborah Aki Bisote. Oh, 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 o